Are you tired of having to always paddle around in your float tube? Wish you could fish from an anchored position? Didn't believe it's possible? Let me show you how possible it really is. Hello everyone, I'm Phil Rowley and welcome to another Outcast video tip. You know, float tubes offer many advantages. You can cover a lot of water, but you don't always think you can fish from an anchored position. Well, I'm going to show you with just a simple modification how you can fish from an anchored position and sit and relax like everybody else. In order to fish from an anchored position from your float tube, you're going to need four things. Some anchor rope, a small anchor like this five pound pyramid, a snap link clip common to dog leashes, and a rubber bungee cord or a separate piece of cord. So let's show you how all this works. Now some of you may be thinking, well why not just tie off to this rear D-ring? You could certainly do that. The trouble is, the boat is going to be anchored diagonally to the wind and when you try and fish downwind, you're going to have to turn your upper body to do so and this soon becomes uncomfortable. Let me show you a better way. So step one, you're going to take your cord, in this case a bungee cord, and I'm going to thread the snap link clip or your dog leash clip onto the cord all the way down to one end. Next, you're going to thread your cord onto one of the rear D-rings. So I'm going to push this through. Then I'm going to feed this snap link or carabiner rather on and the snap link through and then I'm just going to cinch it tight. So for step three, I've moved around to the other side of the float tube. I'm just going to take the carabiner and hook it on the other rear D-ring. And as you can see, our snap link is on the cord, free to slide left to right. So when I anchor, it's going to self-center. The next step is we're going to take advantage of this gap at the rear of the float tube. And I'm going to pass my anchor rope through and just lay it in the back for a second. So now I'm going to take the anchor rope clip it into the snap link, throw the excess in the pocket. Let me give you a quick demonstration how this all works. So right now I've got the anchor retracted, how it would be when I'm moving to spot to spot. And I get to a spot where I want to anchor, I've got the rope tied off in one of the front D-rings. I'm just going to pull on this rope like so. That's going to release, allow the rope to fall and the anchor to fall with it. It's going to land there. The, D, the snap ring is going to self-center once the wind takes effect and blows down rind. And you can see how your rope is guided nicely through that hole so you're anchored square with the wind at your back and you can cast down wind in comfort. So let's go out on the water and put this into action. Well, this looks like a likely looking spot. I think I'll anchor up and give it a cast. Just gonna undo my rope. Let that rope deploy with the anchor. We just hit bottom. Quickly tie it off. Stow my oars. Pick up my rod. Let's go fishing. So there you have it. Fishing from an anchored position in a float tube is simple. I hope you enjoyed today's Outcast on the water video tip. For more information about Outcast boats and the products and accessories they sell, Please visit us on the web at outcastboats.com. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and follow our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on tips like this and the many others that you can find there. We'll see you next time.